Hi guys. Um, related arts teachers have discussed it and we're going to do a video about circles and spheres and we're all going to show you different ways to do that in our different related arts. So for global, I'm going to talk about science and math. Spheres and circles can be found all over in science and math. We use them all the time. You guys have used them in math as you get older and we use them in science as well. Think about the spheres of the earth like the lithosphere and the stratosphere that you're probably talking about in fourth grade. And then you'll also find other kinds of spheres when we're talking about, like, just how to do different things in math. What I want you guys to do is to go in your house or either go outside if it gets to be pretty weather. And I want you to try to find all the circles and spheres that you can either in your house or in nature. So I was walking around my house and I found some spheres right here. In one of my picture frames, there's a sphere, there's a sphere, and if you look here on my bird, his eye is a circle, and if you turn my candle up, it's got a circle too. A circle, circle. Now, if I go around, ooh, I found a dog toy on the floor. That happens a lot. A circle. It's a donut dog toy, so it's a circle. Then I'm looking here, oh, I found another circle. Somebody poked a hole in this I circle. Did. I did. Uh-oh. Let's see. Mmm. Ooh. I've got one of my Easter decorations over here. And at the bottom is, look, a circle. You found one too, Amara? Show them. Pick it up. Where's the circle? Oh. Let's see. I'm going to go. You did? Hey, you a circle. It's a cap. To a bottle, it looks like. Okay, let me travel. Oh, I found one. I found a circle. It's our robot. That's Munchie Marvin. Yeah. He's our robot that eats the all the dog head. hair. Oh, we found a sphere. Wibble That's our head. robot head. Uh oh, another son found another circle. That's a fifth grade social studies book. And you see that? Book. Yeah, let's see. Mommy. I'm gonna find one more. Hold on. Ooh, that's almost a whole circle. That's pretty good, Amara. That's a circular shape. That's got all my smell good stuff in it. I don't think it smells good anymore. Ooh, there's another one inside. Look. Circle shape in the wood chip. You see the berry? Oh, a flower circle? Can you pull out the berry? Berry circle. And Klaus, his eyeballs. Look, Klaus. His eyeballs are a circle. So today, go on a circle. Sphere, you found one. Your head is a circle. Mommy, and your shoe. Thing. My shoe? So go around, take a look, do a little um, a scavenger Mommy, hunt and to and find all the circles you can find. And oh, Harley's eyes are circles too. Yes, they are. Sweet, sweet Harley. Mommy. Have a great day. Bye. Hey, guys. Coach Buck, Coach Kaiser here. Um, so one of the things related to our teachers are doing is some different talk on shapes. Um, like circles and spheres and one of the things you might be able to find at home is a piece of paper Just like out of a notebook take the page out. You can crumple it up. No, it's not a perfect circle But it does look kind of like a circle. It's like a sphere Okay, one thing you can do with a piece of paper that's crumpled up is take a little shot with some trash can ball and shoot it down towards an empty trash can watch this Oh, but he missed. It's all good. <laughs> but that's one of the many things you can do in your home with a sphere. Make it into a trash ball and shoot it into an empty trash can. Hope you guys enjoyed that awesome time with us. We miss y'all. Hope to see y'all soon. Miss you. See you soon. Hey guys. So our fun drawing challenge for today is to draw an animal without picking up our pen or our pencil one continuous line. Like this one. Now they're using a Sharpie, but of course you can use a pencil if you want to. And you want to keep your pen or your pencil touching the paper the whole time. Maybe you want to try a dog like this, or maybe you want to try a different animal. But just not a worm or a snake. Let's make it a little challenging.